Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. We are gonna be finishing up mailing from Turning Red, and it's super, super cute. I saved putting it together and doing the board, the foam board. Um, and by the way, so if you're not following me on my other channels, um, I do a, I'm doing a new thing called Font Friday. So I show different fonts. I'm like actively trying to find new ones because there's so many beautiful fonts out there that we don't use. So anyway, if you don't follow, cause I don't do it on YouTube, but you know, follow me on Instagram or on TikTok or Facebook and you'll see these, oops, these beautiful fun fonts, right? It's so stinking cute. Okay, moving it off my board. All right, so I did it, we only we only did this side if you remember we still need to do this side and look how beautiful everything turned out so we mixed some colors and we got this going so now i'm going to move this aside <clears throat> if you remember from the design space tutorial i welded all the teeth together but when i went to go cut it this one separated from the others because it was really really thin so what i want to do with this one is i want to just snip it off um and make it like it was originally <laughs> so i'm gonna cut off the tear marks the rip marks and that's it this one already well you know what oh i already paid i already glued that one down so we're just gonna separate it and do it like that it looks totally good okay let's put down the bigger pieces and let me move these out now we do have some, some seams coming down. So I want to address those as much as we can as well. So that's, I, I was going to do this part myself and then, um, you know, just show the foam board, but I felt like there were some things that we can work out here. So I'm gonna move all of this. We're gonna work on this right now. So let's put, well, that one's already stuck on there. Um, this is already down, so let's put, let's glue this. This piece over here, let me grab this. I forgot to put this piece in. This is her little, it's right here. Um, I'm tempted to just put a little bit of glue down because there is space right there, but there's not enough space because of the other glue, like the, um, the hot glue that I used over there. So I thought I would just put it in so that it fills up that space. Oops. But I'm not gonna worry about it. There. So it's in there, it's got a little mark, I'm good. All right, let's put these pieces down and see what we've got here. So this goes right above her teeth, like so. And this goes inside. Look at that fuzz, right? I love it. I, I absolutely love it. So this covers up this seam right here. So I'm not worried about that. Let's glue that down. So let's glue this piece down. It looks so good. There we go. Okay. This one, I'm just gonna put glue down. I mean, I absolutely, the fuzz is just everything. Look at that nose. I love it. Um, okay, so this goes down this way. Looks so good. All right, um, let's put these pieces back. I know I keep taking them on and off because I just wanna make sure all of this is down, okay. And 
I probably could move this just a little bit down, but there's a seam running right here and that covers it and I think that looks really, really good. So let's see what we've got going on up here. So this is gonna go down like that. So I'm gonna wanna put, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of black right here. Okay, I put this down and that covers the seam that was running right through here, okay? Then I wanna do one for right here. The only problem is because we've got this right here. I'm still going to, I wonder if I did that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So let's lift this up, put this down. Right, so you don't really notice it. Let's see what we've got here. And that's the eye right there. I like that. We'll put this down right there so you're not really gonna notice the seams right there. Um, okay, so we're good there. I think we're good everywhere else. So now we can really glue things down. We good? It looks good, right? Okay, so let's glue this down. So this is what the orange looks like and then with the fuzz. I love the flock. The, I think the flock makes it. So let's um, glue this down. Then we'll do this piece right here. Do this piece up here. And then we'll cut the foam. Okay, while we're doing this, um, if anybody is in the Los Angeles area, I am going to do an in person workshop with Claudia from Miss Olivia Rose Shop. And we are going to be doing, there's going to be four different workshops that you can attend. I mean, you could attend all four if you wanted to. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be doing a like a beginner or an intro to design space, some um, materials that we think you're gonna use, um, vinyl, adhesive vinyl, sticker paper, and then give you a tour of like, I don't know, the tips and tricks within design space that we use a lot that we feel that you guys should use. Um, so that's one workshop. Another one is, and let me look to see what I need to do here. Oops, no, like this. 
Um, another one, the rest are more fun. They're all hands-on. So that first design, design space one, we're gonna give a tour of design space so that you're gonna be comfortable designing things within design space. And then afterwards, we're gonna have things cut out, you're gonna be assembling, you're gonna be weeding, you're gonna be applying, so that when you leave the workshop, you will be very, very comfortable with all the, you know, I mean, you're not gonna be comfortable with everything, <laughs> but you're gonna be comfortable with experimenting with design space, um, experimenting with different materials. All right, so that's the first one. Um, the second one, and I might be doing these out of order because we just finalized them. Um, the second one is cake topper and off the mat. So you are actually, all these workshops, you're gonna walk away with a finished product, okay? So um, in the second one where it's a cake topper shaker or a cake, yeah, cake topper shaker. Um, you're gonna assemble a cake topper and then you're also gonna assemble an off the mat character. The theme is gonna be the same, so you're gonna walk out with that. Um, that's course two. Course three is, this one I think is going to be my favorite. We're gonna have all the toys. We're gonna have, um, hopefully, we're definitely gonna have a mug press, the different handheld presses, the mini, uh, the mini Cricut press, um, a regular heat press, so that you can see the differences you're gonna be pressing yourself so that you get comfortable with that. Um, it's, we're also gonna have um, a mug press, hopefully a tumble, tumbler press. Um, you're gonna be able to see the differences between sublimation versus regular adhesive vinyl. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a hands-on three-hour workshop. All of them are three-hour workshops um, where you get to play with the actual toys. So when you walk away from this, you will actually have used a mug press. And the reason why I say that is like, it's fine and dandy when you see someone do it and it's like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's, that makes sense. But I want you to feel it, know how much pressure, know like, I don't know. I, I feel like that's going to cement it more and it's going to make you feel more comfortable to either, you know, determine if that's something that you want to do again, maybe buy it, maybe not. I don't know, <laughs> but you can recreate it and feel comfortable with it. And that's, that's really important to me because, um, I feel like it took me a while to do certain things because it just, I just wasn't sure. And everything is such a commitment, right? It's a lot of money to buy a mug press and then realize that you don't know how to use it or something. So um, for all of these, you're gonna be using it. It's gonna be fun and I can't wait. The last one, let me think about it then. The last, oh, the last one is like just party favors. So it's gonna be a milk box, which if you remember, I don't have it here, but I did it for one of my book clubs. Um, a milk box, a straw, what did she call it? A straw topper. So these are all party decor. Straw topper, a chip bag, and there's one more. I can't remember. <laughs> I know, I can't remember. I will get back to you, but um, it's still being finalized. We did book the hotel. We booked the dates. Um, so it's going. It's just uh, tickets are gonna be on Eventbrite. Um, they, you can always get the link from my website when it's up and ready to go. So within the next week and a half, I think. Uh, so anyway, look for that July 16th and 17th in Los Angeles. All right, so this is almost done. You see, she's, I mean, look how cute that is. Okay, we've got to put this down. I believe this goes right here. And this goes down here. And this goes right here. This little guy goes there and we're done. There's a little seam right here that I can't do anything about because I already glued this piece down. I didn't, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, nothing I can do about it. That's what happens when you do half and half. <laughs> so it's okay. 
it's not my favorite because of that, but I'm okay with that. I'm gonna put down a little glue down here. Does that look right? Um, let's pick this up, glue this down. Everything's rolling away. All right, we're all, oh, my glue came out. Good thing it dries clear. And I'm just gonna dabble this right here and then I'm going to do this. Okay, and then just this piece left. I need to refill my glue bottle. That's what that sound is. Okay. Oh, it's so thin. Okay. Oh no, this looks too, hold on. What's going on here? Looks like there's a gap right there. All right, okay, it's all done. I mean, look at how cute is this? Okay. I heard something fall. What was that? I, I'm losing my head. All right, I mean, look at how good that is next to me. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so this one's gonna be easy. Remember the whiskers? I tried that workaround, it wasn't gonna work. Um, it's just gonna be thin, because we can't do the foam right there. So I'm gonna do the foam all around here. So what you wanna do is um, grab a white pencil, and or pe regular pencil, but I use white because that way you guys can see. So I'm just gonna do a general wide outline, okay? And we're gonna cut inside the lines. Sorry, I need to sharpen this thing. So, all right, let's do this. So can you see, yeah, you can see the general outline. And I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife. So on a self-healing mat, Foam board is from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna go really smoothly inside the lines, okay? This is just for me. If it's for you, or it's, you know, you know you need it to be sturdier, cut as close to the line, but inside the lines. That way it's not gonna show. But I will say that this is, you know, it's round. We're gonna have a really good sturdy structure right here. It's gonna be good. Okay, so I'm gonna cut. And then I'm gonna bring it back. And I'm gonna cut this line right here. I sort of want a smooth line so that it's going to sit rested like against a, a table 
or the wall and it's going to be sturdy, okay? So let me cut this part out. And then we're gonna bring the character back to see how it fits. I've got my hot glue gun going. Okay, so if I have this right now, I'm going to want to trim this a little bit, trim right here, and I'm just gonna take this right here. So you can see I'm like quickly making the adjustments. I didn't cut this all the way through. And put this back and see what that looks like. I like this. The only thing that down here is I'll probably trim this off. I'm going to leave this here because the fur, it's not going to be strong enough. So I want just a solid um, piece of foam board to cover it right here. So I just have this little piece right here. I'll lift up. Good, I'm gonna cut this piece right here. Okay. So this is great right here. And we just have this piece, this, this, and right here. So this will be easy. I'm just going to slice this in a little bit. It's all good. Now we have just a little bit from here to he here to here. So right about here. That was not good. I want to make sure this is supported. Okay, so I just have this right here to um, trim. and I think we're good. Okay, I do think we're good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna lift this up and glue this portion down. So with my hot glue gun, I'm just gonna get this corner right here. And then I'm gonna lift this up and get the bottom down here. I got too much glue right here. I'm going to be tempted to cut that portion off. <sighs> I wasn't paying attention. That's what happens. When you, ex when you have the foam board exposed, 
you need to make sure that you don't put glue there. And I put it there for support, but then I ended up gluing it. So, all right, let's lift this up. And the rest is totally covered, so we can glue all this down. Almost done, yay. So what you have is, see I can hold it and it's supported like just by a finger up here. Yay, <laughs> all right. So if you have any comments, questions, uh, just post it below. We'll definitely get to it. And I can't wait to see you on the next project. All right. Thank you.